Hello, Randy Rain here, and I get asked all the time by companies to sponsor my videos. 99% of the time, I turn them down because it has absolutely nothing to do with my stuff that I do on my channel. I have no interest in it, so I figure you have no interest in it. But every once in a while, something good does come along. And that's what I got here. I've got a Elliclev, uh, Elliclev, Elliclev? Elic, uh, digital microscope. Now, I am 54 years old and my eyes are not getting any better. And there's a lot of tiny little things that I need to see and be able to video. Well, this thing's got it covered. So let me show you the unboxing. Already a nice little booklet here with nice colored pictures. Well, that's rare. I'm guessing that's a cl lens cleaner. There's the screen. Oh, this thing's fancy smancy. That's the remote. Some USB. Some more USB and even more USB. We've got no idea what that is. There's a plug to USB. It's hiding over here. Oh wow, yeah. And we'll adjust, tighten it up. And then, well, those haven't been bent before. That's the maiden bending there. But I like that. That's LEDs, little lights to shine down. All right, install the stand. Please make sure the following position A, B, C, D are installed tightly to avoid shaking. Position B, rotate the back ring, black ring clockwise one or two turns. Well, it's already packed off. All right, well, it's not. There we go. So rotate, screw the rod clockwise. Should be to there. I don't know how many more times I can go around. I can't. So stop there and then I'll screw this down. Insert the monitor and tighten the two little screws. There's, this is these little guys here. These are the two little screws. When this gets inserted, you gotta back these off a lot. Okay. Do you go all the way down? Looks like it. Tighten the two little screws. Adjust the monitor up and down and tighten the screw. So yeah, you can just there, got that. Connect the microscope and the base to the power source. That's where these are coming in. You see all these USBs that we got here. Okay, this is HDMI. Connect the microscope and the base to the power source. You only have one of these. And yet I can understand where, yeah, this it's connected to here and then this one I guess gets connected up here but uh where does this one go now okay this is definitely something that needs improvement here and this powers the lights and this powers up here the monitor so why not include something like this
there. I mean, I'd like this a bit longer. But yeah, see how the lights came on. Here's, there is an adjustment here on the brightness. That's one solution. You could have an output that come into here and it just bypasses and does that, but I mean, if you're going to connect both of these together, it's got to have something like that. You got the protective film. Oh yeah. No. I gotta hold it on. It says it little SD cards are already installed, but to gently remove the current lens and bring the new lens close to attach it automatically. Oh, we got something. Oh, it's just a magnet. And these boxes are different ones. These are the lenses. All right, here's a little circuit board that I'll be soldering pretty soon. Let's see. That's a clear picture, all right. I'm going to try a different lens. Really, is that even a tighter one? Okay, I can't seem to get that one to do anything. Try a different one. Oh, geez, that's like a microscope for sure. So that one's definitely a microscope. And it's got the tiniest little hole. And then the one that was in it has a little bit bigger hole. And then there's this big one. Now this got to do something here. I mean, it max it out and you still haven't seen anything. Huh. All right, I got the L lens to work. There's three lenses, L, M, and W. And the M is the microscope slides. L is for soldering and watch repairing. And W is for coin stone stamp observa observation. Now the reason it wasn't working is right here. There's a little screw right here. And if you unscrew it like this, you're moving a lens back and forth. And if you look at another one here, but you'll see there's little blobs of little glue around here. And that's to hold it in the right place. Well, it wasn't held in the right place. So I popped those pieces of glue off of there. And then I just really cranked it down. You can see I can get it to focus. But let's look at the menu. Brightness, white balance, stuff like that. And I guess that's stuff about the video and photo. It's all the settings, date, all that stuff. Um, no idea what that is. It has something to do with the cross cursor. Well, uh, you can add a ruler. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can add rulers and stuff like that. I have this very strong magnifying glass, and this is what I used to look at tiny little things under. And now I use this all the time. And yeah, there was a little mess up with it, but that will be fixed. Those are flukes. Those things happen. We've all had that kind of stuff happen. They'll replace it, no problem. And I got a little splitter for the USB, and it works great. Anyway, let's play a little game. What is it under the microscope? Up first, we have this. Looks very fibrish. 
and it has some weird, odd little colors in it, little specks and of stuff. What could it be? What is it? It's a piece of orange construction paper. That's what orange construction paper looks under the microscope. The next one, hmm, that seems familiar. What could that be? Colorful, obviously printed. That's your king of spades. King of spades. And then we have the next one. Ooh, obviously some sort of material, something woven. But what is that? Well, that is a silk kerchief. I didn't know there was that many strands of silk in there. Mm, now, what in the world is that? That's crazy looking. I don't know what the little yellow bits is. Huh. That is a red sponge ball. And then last, wow, look at that. Hmm. Very, very interesting. What is that? Well, that's a trigger piece from a mouse trap. And so see, this thing is amazing. And they've given me a good link to give to you so that there's a discount. So go check it out. Anyway, thanks to L for sending this microscope and it is cool. So go check it out.